today's project, we're going to be working some, with some acrylic, cutting this wedding sign with our X-Tool P2. Some of the materials we used today, we used our X-Tool P2 CO2 laser, some cast acrylic sheets uh, in gold, white, and clear, and you can optionally accent your piece with some 5mm wood. Some of the key features we looked at today, um, the close view accuracy of the P2 camera, the larger bed size, that's great for cutting bigger pieces, the predefined material settings library in the X-Tool XCS uh, tool, and the ease of cutting acrylic. Today's project took about 30 minutes with about 10 minutes of cut time and about 20 minutes of uh, glue up because of the small letters. But I'd say overall it's a difficulty level of easy. So let's get started putting this together. So the first thing I did was I drew a rectangle that's approximately the size of the acrylic clear um, material that I'm going to be using. I use this as a guideline to lay out my design. I made a smaller one because I am going to be insetting it in a piece of wood, so I was thinking I wanted to kind of have a border. I started with a text object, and I'm going to create the two names uh, for the bride and groom. I think script looks better in this case, but you can choose any type of font you want. Um, I'm using the copy and paste feature to copy and paste just to make sure I get the font size the same and um, <clears throat> the same script type. And I'm just making a and here. I'm going to space it out roughly for where I think I want to put it. Um, I'm adding some additional text above. Uh, this is a little bit more formal, so I'm not doing script here. But again, your font choices are really your artistic design, and you can do whatever you like. Once I size that up, <clears throat> because I'm going to be uh, cutting this out of acrylic just um, to help me visualize how it is, um, I turned it to engrave and set it to the kind of the yellowish gold color in the layer setting just to help me visually understand what's going on. I'm going to do the same thing with the um, uh, other text. I'm just going to make it darker and easier to see. <clears throat> I thought it would be visually interesting to have a little bit of a curve here um, in the text above the name. So I use the, the tool inside of, the, inside of XES to be able to add a curve or a bend to the text. And to mirror that in my cutout, um, I'm going to make a circle and add that, um, <clears throat> set that circle uh, to the top cutout line of my acrylic. So I'm using a combination of the uh, combined tools to um, help me set up how I add that curve to that box. Once I'm all set with that, I'm going to lay it out a little bit more visually how I think it should should go and then we're gonna move on to cutting with the next step. Okay and the next thing I'm gonna do is get this ready for cutting. So first thing I do is I'm gonna copy the text that I want to cut. I'm gonna make a new layer in XES and I'm gonna paste it in there. I'm gonna use the camera feature of the P2 to get a snapshot of how big my acrylic is so I can size things out. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into XCS's um, feature that tells me the settings for, for predefined materials. I type in acrylic. I find my 3mm transparent acrylic, which is what I'm going to be working with. Um, and it's going to set this up to exactly the right cutting parameters that I need. I'm going to auto measure so I have the correct height of the acrylic in my bed. I'm going to ungroup my letters. Once I select them, I'm going to move them over to where I think I want. I'm going to change them to black to make it a little bit easier to see on the gold. <clears throat> and then I'm going to change it to cut because that's uh, the feature that I'm going to be using right now. I'm going to be cutting these out of the acrylic. So I'm going to select my, my type and I'm going to click weld over there in the tool uh, toolbar. What this does is it takes the script letters and instead of having them being distinct letters, it blends them into or merges them into one um, one block, and this is helpful for cutting. Otherwise, you would get each individual letter cut out. Um, so you want to make sure you remember to do that when you're doing script fonts or other fonts in particular. Now I'm going to use the close view feature. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is it allows me to see very, very precisely where the letter is going to lie on the acrylic. So I can 
do very small micro adjustments here to make sure that I'm getting it right to the edge so I can maximize the size of my script on the piece of acrylic. Once I'm happy with that, you can right click off or um, if you want to zoom in on another piece, I'm going to zoom in on the top here to make sure that I'm um, close up of you enough on the top of the acrylic that I'm not running off the, the sheet. I'm going to move it down a little bit using the cursor. And when that's all set, click off to the side and you can say close detail view. You can invoke it again just by the, with the button up in the top right hand corner. And I can see that I'm still within the confines of the acrylic right here. Got to close that view, clean up the alignment a little bit so I can maximize my, my cut, and I'm um, ready to start cutting. We're going to head over to our P2, and we're going to get cutting. Here we can take a look at how um, the laser's cutting. You can see it's very cleanly cutting the acrylic. It's a very smooth cut. This is one of the reasons why I um, purchased this laser. Um, I wanted a laser that I was going to be able to cut acrylic. I was getting a lot of requests for acrylic signs, um, and I knew I needed a CO2 one, and this was, was just the perfect fit for me. You get very little warpage. Uh, it just is a is a super nice clean cut. We we'll just watch as this uh, cuts through there. One cut uh, was able to uh, cut out the letters completely. Just like that, it's done, and we're ready to move on to our next step. For the next step, we're going to be working on the other letters that we're going to be cutting out on white. So I'm just going to copy again. I'm going to move to a new canvas, and there's the letters that I'm going to be cutting out with white. I'm going to just move them up a little closer again uh, to maximize um, the amount of letters or cuts I can get on a single piece of acrylic. Using the built-in camera, I can see where the my acrylic panel lays out, and I can move my letters within the, the space. Again, just trying to maximize the amount of, of uh, acrylic I have. Make sure I change that to cut. Again, I'm going to go to the built-in reference. I'm going to look for acrylic white. And there's a setting right there for my 3 millimeter acrylic. Click Use, and it loads up that setting for your, uh, your cut score and grave. I'm going to use the built-in measure feature to get the depth of the laser for cutting. It's a nice feature built in that you don't have to auto or hand measure with a ruler or, or any other type of material. You can use the built-in built-in tool to do that. And when it's all set, everything's lined up, I can get ready and send it over to the laser. Oh, yes, one last thing is I'm using the, the close-up view again just to make sure that I am um, within the edges of the acrylic. You can see I'm, when you zoom in, you can see uh, it's clearly within there, and it's just a helpful way of kind of double checking where you're cutting. So I'm going to send that over to the laser now, and let's take a look as we watch it cut. Now it cuts this um, opaque acrylic as nice as it cut the transparent gold. You can see for some of the letters, it cuts so smoothly they, they drop right through, and that's uh, 
helpful to have the slats in um, to hold them up. And it just cuts through it like butter. It's a, it's a really smooth cut. And it's, it's fast. And I, especially in these really small letters, I don't see any warpage. Um, you get a really, really, really nice cut. For this last step, uh, it's really helpful that uh, the P2 has a really nice uh, big bed size. Um, I had a larger piece of wood that I wanted to cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, copy and paste my design. I'm going to rotate it because I'm going to be taking advantage of the, the full length of the, the P2 bed here. So I rotate it on its side. I'm going to refresh so I can see uh, the piece of wood that I have inside. Um, and I'm just going to do some alignment uh, just to make it sure that it's just right. Again, I'm using the close-up view to make sure that my uh, cut lines are inside of the materials that I want to cut. I can zoom in really tight and I can see that even though it's really tight, I'm right there against the edge. And I'm going to get ready to cut this piece of wood. So I'm going to um, use some settings that I know work for this particular piece of wood. It's 5 millimeter uh, plywood. So once that's all set, I'm going to send it to my P2. And let's take a look at a cut. All right, here we are. Click the start button and off we go. P2 cuts through wood as nice as it cuts through acrylic. It's a nice clean cut. There's a little bit of smoke and a little bit of um, uh, charring around the edges of the cut line. Um, but you'll see once I clean this up, it, it wipes right off. Um, I use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a, a wet paper towel or a wet rag, and that cleans it right up. Once everything's cut, um, I did take one extra step. I went in and made a score line on the piece of acrylic. I mainly did this because there is a little bit of curve in the text and it was helpful for me to line up the letters. Um, so you can see I, I scored it. It's very visible and it was helpful for helping me glue up the white acrylic letters to, to the sign. So here it is with the acrylic letters glued on. To glue them on, I used a um, kind of a thicker gel super glue with uh, kind of like a precise control head because of the letters are really small. It was really easy to place them down on the acrylic, especially since I had those score lines on there. And then now I've got the gold-backed uh, um, mirror acrylic on there. You can see how the whole thing looks together. And then here's my final product. See, it's got a transparent background with the gold letters. It really pops and shines. Um, with the wood border. So I hope you enjoyed my project and thank you for taking a look.